World Update 14 brings us another captivating journey, taking us to the enchanting landscapes and iconic landmarks of Central Europe this week. We hope you got yourselves occupied with this new change at the sim. Ladies and gentlemen, to what do we owe the pleasure? Quite often do we bring you a ton of updates covering development, marketplace add-ons, freeware, events and so much more. So please hit that subscribe button for future releases. Now this week brings a lot of news on airliners and starting off with them, currently the 757 is undergoing alpha testing with nearly 40 of them working, offering valuable feedback to enhance its performance. The project still has a long way to go and there's a possibility that it might extend to the next year. The team of Bluebird will still keep everyone updated on its progress, but the beta release is not expected for several months as they want to make sure that it reaches a better standard. As for the 767, the team recently conducted a thorough photo shoot of the aircraft, capturing more than 2000 pictures, trying to get every meticulous detail in the model. Now in addition to all this, some sounds have been recorded and so much more work is needed. The end goal is Bluebird Simulations are keen to create the most accurate 757 ever for the sim. Now we should expect limited updates on the 767 until we get the 757 variant. On the note of freeware here, especially covering airliners, now Horizon Simulations and Kuroren have released the highly anticipated version 2.1.0 update for the freeware Boeing 787 Dreamliner. Now this latest update introduces a range of enhancements including updated cockpit plus fonts, fixes for wing flex and gear, significant improvements to the flight model, model fixes, a built-in GSX profile, flaps that have been reworked, new beacon lights, updated aircraft data and so much more including checklist updates among other improvements. Now for those of you who haven't tried this freeware yet, you have the option to download the version 2.1.0 at the link that can be found right here in the description below. Airsoft's A330 hub page is now live. Yes, continuing with airliners, one of the most anticipated airliners in good progress this week. Matthias Cox's departure from Airsoft earlier this month led to a new project manager taking in charge of the Airsoft A330. Now they've introduced a dedicated hub page featuring screenshots, information plus a short FAQ to address community questions. We all have been curious about this. However, three major issues are currently delaying the release, including problems with the iOS approach, autopilot tracking and importing flight plans into the MCDU. The team have been actively working on the sound aspect plus cockpit areas trying to make it usable. Now post the A330, we should expect the A330neo as the next major aircraft release. There's so much more to follow on this. Another airliner news would be towards TDFI design this week. They have been diligently working on the long-awaited MD-11 aircraft since showcasing it at the Flight Sim Expo. Significant progress has been made on several areas including engine startups, autopilot, brakes and gear systems. In fact, they have achieved engine startup without simulator assistance and implemented a realistic brake and gear system with pilot-induced failures. One of the good things and interesting portions would be failure systems in any model. Now the autopilot is fully functional at the sim and improvements have been made to visuals and animations in the cockpit. To keep us informed, TFDI Design has introduced a progress page on the MD-11, breaking down each component's completion percentage and updating the timeframes accordingly. Now this is available for pre-order at $80 with a $5 discount, allowing simmers to be part of this exciting developmental journey. Towards the line of military, DC Designs have released the F4 Phantom, which is another highly anticipated aircraft. Produced by McDonnell Douglas between 1958 and 81, this was known for its speed over Mark 2.2 that served as the most produced American supersonic military aircraft. Now, this was used by Blue Angels and the US Air Force, particularly the Thunderbirds, and although no longer flown by the US, it remains in service with other country air forces, including Greece, Iran, South Korea, and Turkey. Now looking at the pictures here, the Phantom showcases several features aligned with the sim including effects such as G-Vapor, heat exhaust blur, compatibility with aircraft carriers, arrest hook and long system. Continuing with military, Test Flight recently issued a fresh development update for its Avro Vulcan design for the sim. This update follows the team's recent focus on the F-28 Professional. Now we've already seen F-28 and the team have shifted their focus back to the impressive Vulcan. In the previous update on this project, the team was busy capturing sounds from the actual aircraft. Yes, 
They've shared a captivating video showcasing the efforts, and the collaboration has allowed Just Fly to recreate the Vulcan in incredible detail as we see it. On the latest update, Just Flight reveals their modeling and texturing work, plus diligently addressing any bugs and introducing new features, including customizable options. These additions were not present in the previous simulations of the Vulcan, by the way. And furthermore, there are still a couple of new exciting elements in the pipeline, which will be hopefully revealed in the next update. In the world of development, what's new this week? Of course, it is World Update 14, the most recent addition this week, offering us 10 highly detailed cities, all rendered in photogrammetry to capture their own real-world charm. From the Czech Republic, city of Prague, Hungary represented by its illustrial capital, Budapest, Slovenia, and the Croatian cities of Split and Dubrovnik. In addition to the cities, we saw aerial updates giving us a more realistic and detailed aerial representation of these countries. Not to forget points of interest. If points of interest don't exist, would it be worth a world update? Absolutely not. As always, Gaia Simulations have collaborated on this update, adding 103 points of interest and 6 new airports. A fresh full coverage of aerial imagery, digital elevation data and more from partners at Bing Maps that ranges from castles, towers, churches and more. Now accompanying all this would be the inclusion of a local legend aircraft, the Aero 45 that's been developed by Aeroplane Heaven. Now this is a classic aircraft that's left a mark on aviation enthusiasts worldwide. The local legend series brings this aircraft to life with meticulous attention to detail and its modeling and texturing. Now the team have poured their efforts into creating an authentic and an immersive experience, capturing the essence of what the Aero 45 can offer. Moving to events, this week's community flying celebrates its adventure at Oshkosh, the world's largest flying for aviation enthusiasts. The plan is to embark on a cross-country trip from Makesfield to Kosh, with a slightly shorter duration to enjoy the sights of Oshkosh and watch pilots land at the world's busiest airport. Now there are two options to add on for Oshkosh, which are freeware. While not necessary for the flying, these mods can enhance the experience by adding famous colored dots on the runway plus other scenery modifications. So mark your calendars, the flight plan, details on the freeware, server details, aircraft and a lot more can be found if you check the link in the description. And don't forget to join our Discord server, we have plenty of fun activities and news as well. On the line of freeware, we are off to Japan this week. Iwakuni Airfield, located in Iwakuni City, that's Yamaguchi, a shared airport among the Maritime Self-Defense Force, the US Marine Corps and Civil Aviation. Now this is known as MCAS, Iwakuni Air Base, that also goes by the nickname Iwakuni Hintaikyo Airport. The airport features improvements and additions to runways, taxiways, airport facilities like the control tower and terminal. So big thanks to the dev, Permal for this freeware. The link to both the freeware and the community events can be found right here in the description below. Hopefully, you got some plans made on the newly added Central European region this week. There would be more adventures to follow, I would imagine. As always, subscribe for more. It's been a true pleasure. And until next time, do take care and happy flying.